Can you 3D print a recorder, an ocarina or a kazoo? Will they actually sound good and be in tune? And will smoothed ASA sound any different than PLA? Let's find out! Let's start with recorders. A recorder has a mouthpiece that is played like a whistle by blowing in it. Following the mouthpiece is the barrel with tone holes, which are used to produce different notes. Typically a recorder has 7 holes on top, 3 for the left hand and 4 for the right hand. And additionally there is one extra hole on the underside for the left thumb. We are going to use the much more common baroque layout, which is hole 4 smaller than hole 5. But it's worth noting that there is also the German layout, sometimes used for educational purposes. Soprano recorders, the smallest from the group, are typically over 30 cm tall. Luckily we can split the recorder into multiple pieces and that's something that's commonly done even to off-the-shelf recorders. This will make it easy to fit all the pieces on almost any 3D printer. Prusa Printer's user Lysitea81 has done exactly that with her recorder model. And it's a really nice one. It can be printed in under 4 hours and it does not need any support. We did use Brim though because the parts are quite tall and have just a small contact area with the bolt plate. It is so freeing that you can print it in any color you want. And the color schemes can be even cooler if you use the color change feature in Prusa Slicer. Not only that, but you can turn a soprano recorder into an alto one simply by scaling it to 150%. Though this will also increase the size of the fipple, the space that you blow through, so this one part will need slight adjustment, otherwise it will literally take your breath away. When assembling the parts together, the press fit needs to be absolutely perfect to prevent any air leaks. Otherwise, the recorder will sound terrible. Some connections may turn out that way right after printing. If the fit is too tight, use a piece of sandpaper and take some material away. If the fit is too loose, what worked for us really well was to cut a piece of a painter's tape and wrap it around the printed part. The tape will compress a little bit when you put the parts together and that creates a nice airtight seal. If you thought that custom colors for a recorder are cool, just think about the possibilities of customizing the shape of it. Michal Fanta, a super talented designer and for a few years now also a member of the Prusa team, has created this amazing Darth Vader recorder and even a multi-material version of it. If you want to create your own design, we found it the easiest to simply trace over the position of the finger holes, either using a picture of a real one or using an existing 3D model. Or to make things even easier, you can just modify an existing model, creating a remix. The burning question you probably have right now is, does a 3D printed recorder play? Yes, it does! Though, of course, it's not perfect. The Darth Vader recorder plays very similarly to an off-the-shelf recorder, but it's not perfectly in tune to hold two octaves, so the player will have to compensate for that a little bit. <laughs> the other design by Lysitea81 stays better in tune However, the fipple is quite large and it needs a lot of air to play well, so you might get a little bit dizzy after a while. We printed one from PLA, PETG and ASA to see if they sound differently. We also printed a second one with ASA, which we then smoothed with acetone, which by the way turned out really well. We didn't hear a significant difference between them.
except for the Aceton Smooth one, which played significantly louder and clearer. We guess the smooth walls simply allow for better airflow. Are the recorders in tune? They're not terribly out of tune, but Lucy, our friend who tested the recorders for us, had to compensate by blowing harder or softer or even by partially covering the tone hole. Still, these printed recorders are a ton of fun to play if you want to just try playing a recorder, they cost almost nothing to print. And if you're already a player, bringing such custom recorder to a practice session will blow everyone's mind away. Ocarina is another type of a woodwind instrument. Chances are you've heard about ocarinas thanks to the Nintendo game The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Ocarinas are quite compact, so it's easy to print it as one piece, you'll just have to use a bit of support material. We picked a great design by Rob Bax and printed it with Prusament PLA Royal Blue, which makes it look just so good. And of course we added the Triforce symbol to it. Even though it's a bit of an exotic instrument, if you use, for example, this note cheat sheet, you can learn to play almost any song. If you can play Smoke on the Water on it, you've basically mastered the instrument, right? Of course, it fits much better for fantasy themes, such as the music from Hayao Miyazaki movies, Lord of the Ring movies, or the mentioned Legend of Zelda game series. All in all, it plays quite well, we just need more practice with it. The last instrument we'll talk about is a type of an onion flute. Gazoo uses a resonating membrane to amplify sound, and to the displeasure of my colleagues, it works shockingly well when 3D printed. For the membrane, you can use a thin piece of plastic, for example from a shopping bag. You will have to cut out a small circular piece from the membrane material. We suggest using the printed washer as a template to cut it out. Then you just put in the membrane, the washer and secure it with the printed nut. The choice of the membrane material significantly affects the sound of the kazoo, so we ended up having a lot of fun experimenting with them. One important thing to keep in mind. You have to hum, not blow into a kazoo to produce sound. It's a very common mistake to make when trying it for the first time. We wondered, will it work if we print it bigger and bigger and bigger? Yes it will, and it's stupid loud. We hope you'll have a lot of fun with these models. You'll find them in the video description and in the linked article. And as always, happy printing!